Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about a supply schedule and a supply curve. Okay guys so in this video we're going to look at the concept of supply and we're going to look at it through the market for vanilla ice cream. Just like with demand this is a generic market therefore in terms of suppliers there are a large number of them again they wouldn't be able to control or dictate price in that market. So what we have down here is a supply schedule. This shows the price per kilo and the quantity supplied in the market in table form. And what we're gonna try and do is translate that into a supply graph over here on the right hand side. So in the supply schedule, we have the price per kilo and we have the quantity supplied. So this is the amount that suppliers are willing and able to sell at different prices on the market. So you can see down here at a relatively low price, the quantity supplied is zero. And as the price per kilo increases on the market, suppliers are willing to supply increasing amounts of vanilla ice cream onto that market up to a price of six euro, where there's 600 in terms of quantity supplied. Okay, so let's take this information off our supply schedule where we have price and quantity coordinates and translate them onto our supply graph. Up here for price, we call this the y-axis, and down here where quantity is, we call this the x-axis. If we take these various combinations, we can start off with our origin point of zero price and zero quantity supplied. We go up to a price of one, and suppliers are willing to supply 100 in terms of kilos of vanilla onto the market. At a price of two, it is 200 that's supplied. Price of three, we have 300 supplied, price of four, we have a willingness and ability to supply 400 on the market, price of five, 500, and a price of six, we have 600 supplied on the market. So if we join all these coordinates together, what we get is a supply curve on our market. And this supply curve here, we will indicate it with an upward sloping line, we will call it supply and we will say that this line here shows the law of supply. So what that means is as the price in the market increases, let's say from zero up to one euro, so an increase in price along the supply curve, what happens is the quantity increases as well. So as price goes up, quantity supplied goes up and this is called the law of supply. So here, law of supply, and it's indicated by a positively sloped supply curve. So again, if we go up to a price of two, again, we can see the quantity supplied increases on the market as well. So what we have here is a movement along our supply curve. So we'll call it a movement here. And the law of supply is only in cases where nothing else changes. So in our next video, we're gonna see that supply is impacted upon by a range of other factors. So this law of supply is a law of supply ceteris paribus, nothing else changing on the market. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.